At 377 years old, Greenwich is one of the oldest communities in the tri-state area. It has something new to celebrate. The campus of the Greenwich Historical Society has just opened, featuring the historic site of the beginning of American Impressionist art. Deborah Mecki is executive director. Bush Alley House is a national historic landmark. It's opened as a museum, but what's really unique about it is it does not only showcase its old 18th century history, but also an era when it became a boarding house and became the seat of the Costco Art Colony. The Costco Art Colony is the first art colony in Connecticut. It was founded 10 years before there ever was an art colony in Old Lyme. So we call this the cradle of American Impressionism. The train comes to Greenwich in 1848 and transforms this little sleepy rural town into a commuter town and resort for New Yorkers. It also was what brought the artists here to Cost Cobb. It was a 45 minute express ride from Grand Central Station. The artists could walk three minutes to the Holly House where they could board in the community and set up their easels on plein air and paint some of the beautiful landscapes, colonial architecture and coastal uh, area. Today, we're also sharing our joy and excitement at completing both the Reimagine Campus and the Reimagine the Campus Capital Campaign. The reimagining of the Greenwich Historical Society campus is the result of planning that started about six years ago. And what made this all possible was that anonymous donors stepped in and said that they would match dollar for dollar uh, every dollar that was raised uh, in, by the campaign uh, up to the goal of $13.5 million. Uh, so the anonymous donor has matched $6,750,000 and the campaign committee, of which I am chair, raised the other $6,750,000. The construction was not supposed to start until a very substantial portion of the money had been raised. I urged and the board agreed to let the construction start a year earlier while we were raising the money. And in fact, the project has been completed approximately a year ahead of schedule and slightly under budget. One of the great ladies at Greenwich, Claire Vanderbilt, uh, without her, we wouldn't be here because uh, I-95 was originally to go right through the Bush Holly House. Claire Vanderbilt was the force behind the Greenwich Historical Society. She was a very good friend of John Davis Lodge, who happened to be governor of Connecticut. The official title of I-95 is the John Davis Lodge Highway. And I-95 has a gentle curve so that it goes around this site instead of right over it. The building in which we are now sitting, Toby's Tavern, in the 1850s and 60s became the Railroad Hotel. And then David Scott Parker, the architect for the reimagined campus, he found a child Hassan painting of Toby's Tavern with a, an organ grinder and a monkey outside and the artists sitting around drinking and he found paintings and photographs of the exterior of what had been the railroad hotel. And based on that, we realized that this building could be stripped down, restored, and recreated. With the acquisition of Toby's Tavern, the Greenwich Historical Society now has an impressive row of two 18th century buildings and one from the early 19th century. On a street that is an historic street with all of the properties on it, historic buildings. The jury is out. This new historical society is an absolute home run. This is a dream come true. On the major new building here on the ground level, you have the entrance atrium. On your left are the archive and the reading room. Directly above them are two art galleries. The first one has a exhibition about the history of Greenwich. The second is called the Permanent Gallery, and in that is a major part of the Impressionist painting collection. Paintings that were painted here, paintings of the Bush Holly House, paintings of the Holly family, paintings that it's done in the interior and on the exterior. Please feel free to come on in and enjoy the galleries on the second floor, the library and archives on the first floor, the museum store, 
the cafe and the wonderful uh, garden. We believe that this facility now is perhaps the finest house museum facility, not only of the town of Greenwich, but of the state of Connecticut and even the nation. In today's digital age, computer screens and devices are reducing our interaction with physical surroundings and fast becoming the landscape we're most accustomed to, often at the expense of how we view ourselves and our place in history. Through its newly reimagined campus, the Greenwich Historical Society is making sure its illustrious past, as home of one of America's earliest Impressionist art colonies, is preserved for generations of Americans to come. This is Bill Baker in my hometown. <laughs>